Hey all, this is Axel from the Epilog team. It's one of the first videos we are making. Epilog is our startup. It uh, has a Future.js front end. And uh, one of the things we, I want to show you today is how we, in, in text, in paragraphs, or in messages, or on a profile of somebody, can detect links automatically, uh, external URLs, and not just um, if they are freestanding in a paragraph or something, but even in text itself. That's actually quite different from things you have, might have seen before, where you just have a, a regex, things like this, a regex, and you have a string, and you just want to check if this, is, this regex is a valid string. There are a lot of regexes um, that you can use for that. And there is, a, for instance, there is a site here uh, for by Matthias Beins, who basically uh, shows all kinds of regexes um, here that you can use some some very very long ones like this one, or other ones um, that are a little bit shorter, and um, they all have problems or benefits. Some are actually really working very well, and some are aren't really that uh, working very well. But this video is a little bit different. It's not about just taking a a regex to, to see if a certain string is a is a URL. But um, what if you actually have text that is in a message and you want to check if uh, a URL is a URL and um, automatically see if that works? And that's different because, for instance, what if a, if a person writes something in a text, puts in a link, and there is a comma at the end or a period? Or even worse, what about things like this? So if I say, uh, hi, Axel, um, hi, Jacqueline, um, should this be a link? And I put a period in here, and then I forget to, uh, to, to make a space here and just continue something like, um, I see that uh, you think this is a link. And we really don't want this to be an UL. So how do we do this? These things because rec access would actually a rec as x would actually um, take this this one and say, okay, link is the the domain like epilogue here. There's a period and then there's an i. So why shouldn't this be a, a valid UL? To do that, uh, I wrote a little helper function, which I can use globally in in our Vue.js app. And um, it, it starts out to be just a very normal regex. This regex checks if there is an HTTPS in front or just HTTP or nothing. You don't really need the HTTPS. It's just that if it's there, then it should start with that. Uh, and then it checks if there is a www. If not, it still matches us. So I haven't shown it to you before, but um, we could do something like this, epilog.com, and it should, it should match it, yes. So that works as well. And then uh, other things we do is, for instance, that um, even after the domain, when the, if there's a slash, then anything that continues, for instance, with, a, uh, with an add symbol and then something else, everything that's a valid URL, it should still match. So what's the trick to actually get around that, that you match things like uh, what we said before, link L, or just um, invalid links which don't exist. So if I could say, if I could put something like this in here, um, epilogue book, punct, dear, period info t, info t is not a, a valid URL. Um, info would be, but info t isn't. So how, how do we make sure that you don't match those? So our symbol doesn't match them, so great. So the first thing, we have to think about is, do we really want to match every single URL there is? Or um, do we just take the most common ones and say we, we rather have an, rather leave out certain things which may be existing as valid URLs, but are very, very uncommon. So essentially, we don't want to match 100% of all links of all URLs that exist. 
we we want to match 99%. So a user actually says, oh, well, cool, it's it's matching these things in 99% of the cases. But if there's some weird link to a very different domain, the end, uh, then maybe it doesn't match. But it at least it doesn't overmatch things that are surely not URLs. So how do, how do we do that? So we have our expression. That's a regex, so we have to create a new regex with new regex um, with this expression. And uh, then we basically go into a while loop and we say, if you just look at the, the while loop from here until here, it just says, as long as there is a match in the text that we provide, then, uh, so if it's not zero, uh, then we go through this algorithm, that's all. So if, if it would just be uh, a text without any any match, any, any match URLs, then it's just the text. And we just take the text, put it into an array here at the end and uh, say, well, it's all text. But if there is a match, then we say, hey, okay, okay, okay. Uh, we want to um, forget about the start here. That's the exclusions which we will be making. What you really wanna do is to um, go here and start at the end and just check Okay, what happens if there is a, is a match, then we want to say, well, the front part of our text should be just in a, put in an array as text. So we start with the start index, that's zero. And uh, we go to the, to the first match where the match is. So for instance, if you go here, then this is all zero to this, this point here and then this is the first match we have, so maybe that's like 25 characters or whatever. That's the, the match index that you get here. So we put the front part, which would be this, into our array as text, as a split text as text. And now we say, well, we match this one, www at epilogue.com. And we say, well, great, so this is actually a link so please uh, just take the link from match index to match length. Match length is just how long this match is. In this case, it would be four, like, I don't know, 15 chars. It takes this as a substring from, from the text. Say it says this is a cleaned link. In our case, because we want to do this as an external URL, always with HTTPS, uh, we, we replace those things and put them in later, but you can't forget about that at the moment. Uh, what's really relevant for you is that you just put in the, the cleaned link and say it's a link. So if it's the last link, then you would basically have something like this as a text array point. Then you have this as a URL. And then later you have just text again or no text. And that's it. So that would be the, 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 the normal way to do that. But um, as I said before, we don't want to, we want to match 99% or 95% of all the links but we really don't want to match things like this or this. So um, how do we do that? And uh, one thing to do it is basically say, well, here are our top domains. And these top domains are the most common and used domains. Basically, they cover over 99% of all the commonly used uh, domains. Um, of course, .com, then .org or .net and so on, .us, .co, um, .edu and so on. And we basically say, well, uh, if we have a match, we always say, well, actually we want to abort unless, unless we find in our match that there is, a, there is one of these, um, of these top level domains. So we basically say, hey, those are the top domains. I got to just go through the match and see, do any of these things match? So the dot plus de, for instance, or um, dot com. And if they match, then all is fine. We say don't abort, uh, don't abort at all. And um, we actually have a valid link and we go on. Uh, that actually is already a, a rather interesting way to find uh, domains and exclude things like this. Sorry, things like this, info T, um, or things like this. But what about if you have, it's very common in text, somebody puts a link in there and he puts a dot at the end or a period or, or whatever, or even worse, a question mark. Because um, as you can see here, if there's a question mark at the end, we actually want to match the link because it's a valid URL um, unless 
there is nothing after the question mark. So something, something like this you can actually exclude with, uh, with, with this co code. So you basically say, well, uh, if um, the match that we have is, uh, is matching a question mark at the very, very end, and there is nothing after that. So that, that means here the match we have is the match index, which is the beginning of the match, plus the length of the match minus one, which because if you say a length of the match, then you would be one char after it, but minus one means that we, we are at the very end. So I can show you how this works here. So I say, hey, Jacqueline, um, this is a test uh, with a link with a question mark at the end, www.epilogue.com. Um, and then I say, um, Axel, question mark. And I continue with, I continue this text, best Axel. And what we really want is that we match this one because that's a valid URL, but without the question mark. Let's see if it works. Perfect, it works without the question mark. However, as I've shown you before, if there's something after the question mark, it still matches the whole thing as a link. So that's what this one does. Um, another thing you can exclude here is email addresses, depending if you have those and if, if people actually post email addresses in, in, in your use case, maybe it's not relevant, but it's actually qu quite easy to do. You basically say, hey, um, if your text, your match, minus, minus one has a, an ad symbol in here, then it should actually be a here an email address, um, for instance, if I say here um, some email address, I, I just make one up uh, here, Jacqueline, and I say it's a, it's a gmail.com or a hotmail.com address. Let's put a hotmail.com address in there. Um, this should not be matching. Oh, and it doesn't. Why? Because it matches this, the regex, but it doesn't match this. Also it, it, it checks out if there is an ad symbol before the match, and if it's the case, then it basically says, no, no, the whole thing is not a match. It just should put it into the text, and that's it. Uh, and you can, you can do lots of other things that you came up with. The, the reason why I'm showing you this as a JavaScript function, nice, actually small one, is because um, I looked around, I couldn't find any articles um, I, I could find on Stack Overflow just matching the URLs, but um, I couldn't find anything that we could use um, which people in normally would say, oh yeah, that's, that's really what they want and they don't want any overmatching. So if you, if you wanna read a little bit more about that, um, you can go to www.epilog.com, which actually is in our in our YouTube uh, description as well. And you can find uh, detecting external links um, in a paragraph text with JavaScript. That's just how I write it here. But in the main, you see this and it has, uh, it has all the examples here um, and walking through that one after the other. Uh, hope you liked that. Um, sorry that sometimes, I mean, this is one of the first videos. So either I talk too fast probably or I um, did too many uh, pauses with M, but I'm trying to get better with that. And maybe the next video is uh, actually then um, slower and uh, a little bit better than this one. Okay, see you guys.